it's clear that we live in a world where human rights violations, torture, refugees fleeing from their countries is pervasive. Uh, over a billion people have been hurt by violence in one way or another. Um, we have many people who have been actively engaged in either some political struggle or advocating for human rights in their countries of origins. People who have been very highly placed in their original countries, maybe lawyers, um, journalists, physicians, um, people involved in the government who have actually been targeted because of their activities. Um, but then there are others who have just sort of been wrong time, wrong place, wrong ethnic group, wrong religion, and just sort of getting caught up in larger spasms of history and, and, and violence. They have had to flee, that they have come, they have uh, gone overcome incredible obstacles to get here whether it's coming to us by train boat plane uh, you know you name it um, so they all have that kind of common denomination our, our clients come from all walks of life they are educated um, doctors lawyers um, journalists who felt strongly about their convictions and because of that were tortured. There are also uneducated laborers, former soldiers, housewives, children, um, who through no fault of their own were um, caught up in whatever was happening in their country, um, identified for whatever reason and tortured. But within any refugee or settlement population or asylum seeker population for that matter, anywhere from 5 to 35 percent of that population are going to be survivors of torture. And that's also going to be dependent on the countries where they're coming from. Clearly, in my work with survivors of torture, refugee trauma, and other human rights abuses, on a daily basis, my colleagues and I really get a glimpse at the darker side of humanity, of the brutality, the, the, the cruelty that unfortunately makes up our world. It's sure if you're interacting with immigrant and refugee populations that you're interacting with individuals who have suffered horrific profound traumas and we know this from studies that have been conducted both here in the United States including some our program has done as well as around the world by uh, colleagues like Richard Malika and, and uh, the Center for Victims of Torture in Minneapolis. So we know there is a very real prevalence of torture among the immigrant refugee populations.